Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to create a recycler view inside our item category. So, as you remember, the get items PHP file retrieved the ID, name of the meal, price of the meal, category, and voto. So, to use recycler view, as we have talked in the previous videos, we should use three steps, which is model plus view plus controller. The model is the class which will be used to store these values. The view is the design and the controller is the recycler view adapter which will contain or will connect between the model and view. So let's start at first with the model. So you should define a class here, right click, new, Kotlin file. Let's define this class with the name, for example, item. Okay. Let's call it items because there is oh, item, no problem. Here, I will select class. So we will create class called item. Now I'm going to define the following variables. The first one var id integer okay the second one var name with data type string for the meal of the name the third one var price as double Yes, this one. And the last one is var voto as string because we are going to return the URL of the voto from the PHP file. Then we are going to create a constructor. And inside this constructor, I'm going to define the four variables ID with data type integer, then name with data type string. What's the problem here? Third one, price with data type double. And of course, the voto with data type string. Then assigned all these values as this dot ID equal ID. The same thing will be this dot name equal name third one this dot price equal price and of course this dot voto equal voto so i have assigned these four variables okay after that after i have assigned all these variables or the four variables which are id name price and voto i have created the model now Let's start with the second step, which is the view. The view is the layout for one row. So my row will contain image view to display the photo and two text view to display the name and price. So let's go to resources, right click on layout, select new layout resource file, and let's call it item row, for example. Okay, so let's go to text. And here, I'm going to define, okay, uh, at first I am going to change this one from vertical to horizontal. Now, from the design, at first I'm going to draw uh, image view. So go to the images, and in the image view, I'm going to draw this one. Okay, I will take any photo as default photo, something like this, for example, and click on OK. Now, here, for example, in the ID, I'm going to call it item photo. Okay, then I'm going to remove this one, which is the weight. 
I will put, for example, 100 dB for width, and of course, the same for height. Okay. Um, also, I am going to add some margin from top. Okay, or let's add some padding here, for example, for a screen. Padding, let's make it 10 dB. Yes, just to add some spaces before the image. Okay, now, after the image view, I am going to draw two text view, one for the meal name and the second one for the price. So, in this case, I'm going here to add another linear layout with, okay, wrap content for both width and height, but I'm going to define the orientation for this one as horizontal. Now, after that, I'm going to define two taxi view. So the first taxi view, okay, oh, sorry. Let's change this to vertical because I need the text views to be one after the other. Now text view, wrap content for the width and also for the height, okay? And I'm going, for example, to give it some ID, item name, and let's give some text here. For example, uh, chicken pizza, okay. Then for this text view, I'm going to enlarge the text size. Let's make the text size as, for example, 24 SP. Yes, something, or I think 24 is bigger, so only 20, okay. Then we need to add some margin to give some space between the photo and the meal name. So I'm going to add some margin left. Let's make it 10 dB or we can enlarge it to 15 dB. Yes, to make some space between the meal name and the photo of the meal. Okay, the same thing will be copy and paste for the price, but I'm going to call it item price. Then we can add, for example, the price here. Let's suppose that something like 3.5, okay? And also we need some margin from the top side. So I'm going to add something like margin top 20 dp or it is I think 15 is better yes 15 dp okay depends on you of course so I have add something like voto for the meal taxi view for the name of the meal and price okay which is another taxi view called item price so in this in this video we have created a model and view for our recycler view. In the next video, inshallah, we are going to create the controller or the recycler view adapter. See you next video.